Here we're asked to divide two polynomials. Since the denominator is a binomial, we begin by setting up polynomial long division. Polynomial long division makes use of the division algorithm. We first determine what factor times 5x results in 20x to the fourth. To do that, we can take 20x to the fourth and divide that by 5x. In this case, we see we obtain 4x to the third. This is where we'll start. If we multiply 4x to the third times this binomial, we get 4x to the third times 5x, or 20x to the fourth. The distributive property applies, so 4x cubed times negative 3 leaves us with minus 12x cubed. So we take the factor and we multiply it by both of those terms. After which, we then subtract. In this case, 20x to the fourth minus 20x to the fourth results in zero. And then when we subtract negative 12x to the third, that's really the same thing as adding 12x to the third. So negative 32x to the third plus 12x to the third, well that adds up to negative 20x to the third. And then we bring down all the rest of the terms and do it again. This time we need to determine what factor times 5x results in negative 20x cubed. We can do this off to the side by taking negative 20x cubed and dividing that by 5x. This time we obtain negative 4x squared. So our next term is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x squared times 5x, negative 20x to the third. Negative 4x squared times negative 3 plus 12x squared, after which we then subtract. In this case, negative 20x cubed minus negative 20x cubed is 0. But when we subtract positive 12x squared, that's um, from 7x squared, we obtain negative 5x squared. And then bring down the rest of the terms, plus 8x minus 10. 7x squared minus 12x squared results in negative 5x squared. So we need to determine this time what times 5x will result in negative 5x squared. This time we'll do it mentally, and hopefully we can see negative x should do it. Negative x times 5x is negative 5x squared. Negative x times negative 3 results in plus 3x, after which we then subtract. In this case, we're left with 8 minus 3x, or 5x, and then bring down the minus 10. Finally, we need to determine what times 5x will result in 5x. Hopefully you can see 1. Plus 1 times 5x is 5x. 1 times negative 3 is minus 3. And then subtracting, we're left with a remainder. 10 minus negative 3 is negative 7. Now when, when left with a remainder, we treat it just as with real numbers. We add the fraction with the remainder in the numerator over the divisor, in this case, 5x minus 3. The answer sits here above. Let's write that out below. The answer here is 4x cubed minus 4x squared minus x plus 1. Now since we had plus minus 7, we'll just write minus 7 over 5x minus 3.